All right, everyone, here's the last part we're gonna show you. We already showed you the figure eight slip in a bike. Now we're gonna show you the alternate knot that you're allowed to use as the wireman's knot. This is another knot that you can use for the transport tightening system. Um, I'm not saying it's a better knot, it's just another knot uh, that a lot of schools use. Uh, but at the end of the day, it's an authorized knot allowed for the transport tightening system. All right, so your rope bridge commander grabs all the excess rope from the far side. And you should try to tie this knot as close to the boundary of the obstacle as possible. You create three loops in the in the rope, okay? So you're gonna you should have three bands of rope in your hand. All right, you're gonna take the middle, go to the left. Then you're gonna go to the middle, go to the right. Then you're gonna go to the middle to over the left again, and you're gonna pull this band through. Okay. Now you should have at least after you tighten it all down, dress it all out, you should have at least 12 inches of your loop. Now. You can, you're allowed to do this. You can put a sling, a snap link here and you can put a snap link through this band right here, this locking bar right there. That helps you later on in the deconstruction. Now, the other thing you have to make sure, hold, let go of that rope for a second. You gotta make sure that your loop that you pull through lean towards your anchor, all right? And at this point, this is where the rope bridge commander is gonna hook the loop through the snap link with the snap link facing up. He locks it, and then this is gonna be your transport tightening system, all right? So the, ra the ra uh, rope bridge team is now gonna get uh, tighten the rope, just like they did before. We already showed you in, the, in that other video. Ready, pull, pull, However many pull, pulls it takes till pull. the rope bridge commander is satisfied twister, twister, with the twister. tension. Right. They twist the rope without using the snap link or the knot to assist them, they're just twisting the rope, puts tension on the rope so it doesn't come loose. That's a big... The last raider or whoever's designated to tie the round turn with two half hitches, he ties key. the round turn with two half hitches. All right? Let it go. All right? So at this point, we're not going to put everyone across. We've already done that. All right? But at this point, everyone's across. Everyone's across, and you can start deconstructing the rope bridge. All right? So... Everything remains the same. The, the rope bridge commander is going to untie his knot to deconstruct the rope bridge, take the tension off the transport tightening system, unlock the snap link, make sure he hook, unhooks it from the right location, and then he can snap into himself. He's belayed by someone on the far side, all right, and he goes across. When he gets across, everyone still tries to get all the ropes off the anchor. All right, hold on a second. Hold on. So at this point here with the snap links, this is what aids you in untying this wireman's knot. All you have to do is pull the snap links in opposite directions, and the rope comes untied. You have to take the snap links, the ropes. There's no knots left in the ropes. The far side raider has untied his round turn with two half hitches, and his figure eight it must be completely off the anchor. And this can be done simultaneously. All at the same time. And there's no knots left. Make sure over there, make sure your rope isn't in the obstacle. All right. Rope bridge commander gives the word time. Time. Time stops. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. If you have any questions, uh, give me a call. Let me know.